Hello, my name is Richard Irvin, and today we're talking with Lauren Carlini, an Aurora native and West Aurora High alum, who now is representing Aurora at the Olympics with the U.S. women's volleyball team. Lauren, what an honor this is to talk to you today. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Um, just preparing for the Olympics here. We just finished one of our tournaments. Um, not necessarily a prereq to the Olympics, but a really good um, training opportunity for us. And got a couple more weeks here until we leave town and get to take on the world. So very much <laughs> looking forward to it. And when you say the world, you're really taking on the world, the Olympics around the world. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, what was your reaction when you found out you made the team? Yeah, for me, it's kind of been, um, it's been a long journey. Uh, I started with the team in 2017 and was an alternate for the 2020, 2021 Olympics in Tokyo. And so there was a huge sense of heartbreak at that time. And of course, this also like dogged determination to not let that happen again um, in another three years. And so when this announcement came uh, a couple of weeks ago, it was just you never can be too sure, right? Um, you're playing with some of the best, if not the best players in the world. And so the opportunity to not only compete against them every day in the gym, but to be able to be teammates with them, um, it's just a huge blessing. And so when I got the news that I get to be one of the 12 to represent each other, but also this country at the pinnacle of sports, um, there's no there's just no greater opportunity and um, blessing. And I'm very grateful that I get to wear that red, white, and blue. Well, if you are playing with some of the best in the world, that means you are one of the best in the world. And we absolutely believe that. So what does it feel like to represent your hometown, the city of Aurora in the Olympics? Yeah. Um, I love being able to go back home. I still have family in Aurora. And so that is still very much home to me. Um, being able to represent obviously a city that was just a huge integral part of my my development and growing up um, and a lot of my friends, you know, that's where those, those friendships started. Um, it's an honor to be able to represent Aurora and all the amazing people in it. Absolutely. How'd you become an elite volleyball player? And I'm going to say elite Aurora elite volleyball mm -hmm. player. <laughs> yeah. So I started at a really young age. I was five, six years old, um, starting wow. club volleyball at sports performance. That's also in Aurora, Illinois. And, I played there for 11 years, uh, got a full ride scholarship to the University of Wisconsin, Madison, go Badgers. Um, and after that started playing professionally in 2017. And so it's just been this really great journey. And um, there's been different times in my career where I've been the under underdog. And there's been other times where it's like, all right, everyone's after me and they're chasing me. And to have all these different dynamics, um, and to be able to, I guess, start in Aurora, right, at such a young age and have those opportunities, I wouldn't be where I am today without it. Absolutely. We well, are clearly not the underdog anymore. You're the top <laughs> dog now. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> and, uh, you know, what? who was the biggest influence in your, in your volleyball career? Gosh, I get that question a lot. And I wish I could say there's like one person or one player that really had the impact on me. But I never wanted to be just like someone else. Um, I wanted to be me and what was authentic to myself. And so I took bits and pieces from different players. So a lot of them are still in the Chicagoland area. Kelly Murphy, who played at Sports Performance, who was an Olympian um, in 2016. Wow. Kelsey Robinson, who's one of my teammates now, taking pieces and kind of how she played. Um, there's also non-volleyball players. Peyton Manning, J.J. Watt, who was a Wisconsin alum. There's different athletes that I took a lot of different characteristics from and kind of molded it into the player and person that I am today. So I wish I could say one specific person, but there's been way too many great people, coaches, um, and inspirations in my life. Absolutely. All their inspirations added to your greatness. Um, what is your favorite memory of playing volleyball here in Aurora? Yeah, I think for me, um, all my friends, we all live in different places in the country now. And I just look back so fondly on those memories at Jewel Middle School, where we went literally undefeated for like three years in a row. Wow. Um, and, <laughs> and one of, you know, one of my favorite coaches, Sue Ludwigs, um, who was the coach at Jewel Middle School. I just look back on those years very fondly, getting to play with one of my best friends. Um, and then of course, doing the same in high school. And I think, yeah, being able to play this sport with your friends and create those bonds, um, that's something I look very fondly upon.
Well, we're absolutely looking forward to you bringing the gold home here to Aurora Lorne. Thank and you. we're wishing you all the best. Uh, you, know, you. you are an amazing player. We're looking forward to you coming back to Aurora so we can say hi to you in person. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you so much. And you have a great day. Thanks. Bye now. Bye.